Welcome to the only daily podcast focusing on compliance news of the day. Each morning, start your day with a cup of coffee and Tom Fox, the voice of compliance, to hear about four of the top compliance, corruption, or leadership stories you will need to start your day. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network. First, a word from our sponsor. The Daily Compliance News for February 11, 2021, the How to Eat and Talk edition, as if we all need to know that. Our first story comes to us, uh, the lead story rather, from the Financial Times, and it is from the Credit Suisse trial, who is at the center of a landmark criminal trial against the bank for money laundering. A former banker said that for years, the bank paid no attention to compliance. She said that training was on how to dress, eat, and behave, and talk on the phone. She said that was more training uh, that she received in those areas than on the bank's legal responsibility. So it's really no wonder that Credit Suisse is one of the most corrupt organizations, certainly financial institutions, and we'll hope they will uh, pay the piper finally. Next up from The Economist, a first-time contributor to the Daily Compliance News, Rio Tinto and the problem of toxic culture. Uh, The corporate culture of Rio Tinto was so bad that over half of its employees reported experienced bullying in the past five years, and a third of its female workers endured a sexual harassment uh, on the job. This was from a commissioned report uh, that looked at uh, the company. It was posted on the company website, so kudos for transparency However, over half the firm's employees said they were extremely or confident that um, Rio Tinto wouldn't do anything about it. So it's not simply uh, finding out about it, but it's actually uh, doing something about it as well. Our next story comes to us from the Wall Street Journal. Um, and uh, this story deals with the whistleblower uh, program under the SEC, Mingi Sun, R- Risk and Compliance Journal, reporting that uh, the SEC under Gary Gensler has expanded the whistleblowing process. This, of course, is what um, Jay Clayton tried to eviscerate when he was the SEC chair. So good to see the whistleblower program expanding. It's certainly been a very positive for the SEC. And our final story comes to us from Reuters. And it's uh, about the trial of Roger Ng. Uh, Jury's been selected, and it's about to start. Starts on Monday. And it's going to be interesting because he's going to claim that uh, he was had no part of this, the one MDB scandal, and that um, Goldman Sachs has really just thrown him to the wind as a scapegoat. He doesn't seem to recognize that he did anything wrong. Uh, he's going to claim he didn't work at all for Timothy Lesnar, although he was a direct report to him. So it's going to be interesting to see if the jury buys his defense, that basically he was a small-time uh, player at a very large multi-billion dollar multinational company, and he's being scapegoated for bribery and corruption of the tune of uh, uh, several billion dollars for 1MDB. Good luck, Roger Ng. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network and a proud member of C-Suite Radio. Thanks so much for listening. I hope you'll join me again tomorrow. This podcast is a part of the C-Suite Radio Network. For more top business podcasts, visit c-suiteradio.com.